assumptions about the pattern of heteroscedasticity. Now, supposedly, if we, if we have the error variance, okay, and this is heteroscedastic, how is it that we can make certain assumptions about the error terms so that, I mean, they, they're following some pattern of uh, the heteroscedasticity, and then we can make that new error term homoscedastic and get away with the problem. So, supposedly, our error our error variance is proportional to xi square. So this is the error variance. Ui is the, say we have the original model, which is yi equals to beta 1 plus beta 2 xi plus ui. And what we are trying to say is that this error variance, error variance is given by ui square. This ui square is sigma square xi square. Supposedly, if this is the case, then you have this as an original model. And uh, what will you do is that supposedly if you divide the entire model with, with xi, you'll have yi by xi equals to beta 1 upon xi plus beta 2 plus ui by xi. Now what would be the, this is the new error term, this one is the new error term. What will be the variance of this new error term? E of ui by xi square. This xi is non-stochastic so it will come out of the the expectation term, which is 1 upon xi square, e of ui square. e of ui square is sigma square xi square. So these will get cancelled out and you will have just sigma square. Note that there is no i subscript here. So the new error term becomes homoscedastic. So you have this as the new model, which is yi by xi equals to beta 2 plus beta 1 by xi plus ui by xi. Here in this case, this uh, beta 2 term, which was the slope parameter in the original model, becomes the intercept in the new model. And the beta 1 term becomes the slope parameter or slope term in the new model. In, order to, in, in case you want to get back to the original model, what will you have to do? You will have to multiply the entire model, this with xi. And the moment you do that, you get back to the original model which will be yi equals to beta 1 plus beta 2 xi plus ui. I'll give you one more example in which suppose error term is like this. It is, it's, its variance is proportional to xi, not xi square. Suppose it is the case. You have this as an original model and uh, your error variance ui square is basically sigma square xi. Hmm? You will divide the entire model with root of xi and the moment you do that this is what you'll be getting and the new error term is ui by root of xi. So variance of ui by root of xi would be e of ui by root of xi whole square. This is what will you get is 1 upon root of xi whole square into e of ui square but e of ui square is by your assumption is following this part, pattern which is sigma square xi but but root of xi square is just xi and this will get cancelled out with this and you will have just sigma square which is homoscedastic. Note that this model has no intercept. Hmm? It is just beta 1 upon root of xi plus beta 2 root of xi. In case, we, in case if you get back, in case if you want to get back to the original model, what you have to do is that you have to multiply this model with root of xi to get back to the original model. 